going on fellow hunters welcome back to the channel so it's day four of our hunting trip and our food supplies are getting a little low so it is about 9 30 in the morning and i'm gonna try cooking up some of this chicken fried rice from mountain house so that's going to be my breakfast for today uh, as far as actually cooking it we're gonna have to open the package remove and discard the oxygen absorber so we'll carefully add one and a half cups of boiling water. We're gonna stir carefully and close the zipper. Wait five minutes, stir again and reseal. Let stand another four minutes. So I've got a fire going pretty good. Got some nice hot coals going. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water into my cup. And it doesn't have any markings in it, so I'm just gonna kinda have to guess. Uh, it is an 18 ounce cup. And we have 16 ounce bottles, so I'll pretty much use the whole thing and then I'm going to go ahead and try to get it boiling. <clears throat> now, I'm starting at a disadvantage because my water's cold. It's probably about a cup and a half. We'll go ahead and get it set right here on the coals. Ooh, that's hot. Now bring it in closer and we can watch this boil. So that's what we got our water looking like and it's been about i don't know 14 or 15 minutes so um i think definitely having a roaring flame or uh, a jet boil would definitely really help out so without a raging flame <clears throat> that looks like it's probably about as hot as i'm going to get this water i'm going to go ahead and get this open we'll show you what it looks like inside oh it smells pretty good Screen around. All right, so this is what we're working with to start. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here. And stir this up just a little bit. Up. All right, so it's been about it's been about six minutes on the mountain house chicken fried rice. Go ahead and give her a little stir. Give her about another, at least five more minutes. This one's still a little soupy, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I didn't add too much water. All right, we'll go ahead and get this opened up and get our final stir. Okay, it, it did end up soaking up a huge majority of that water, which is good. Still. Maybe slightly runny. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> Alright, so this is what it looks like. Alright, Damien, go ahead and sit down and you be our official taste tester. You can sit in the chair if you want. I guess we got it hot. It's okay. It's okay. I know it definitely would have been a lot easier to do that with a jet boil or something because that was it probably took me almost 15 minutes to get that water to boil. And then another 15 minutes just to get the food, so He's going back in for a second bite. It must not be too bad. When he's done with it, I'm going to finish this off and I'll let you know what I think of it. It is hot. It's pretty cool. You can get some nice hot food. I guess relatively quick with a little fire, but like I said, with a jet boil, you'd be able to get that done super fast. Food is steaming. It's definitely not too bad. I think the um, out of the two I've tried so far, so I did the breakfast skillet. That one was actually pretty good. Um, this one's not too bad. It definitely doesn't taste like. You know, of course it doesn't taste like Chinese restaurant chicken fried rice, but I would say it's more of a chicken and noodle chicken fried rice is exactly what it tastes like. If you were to like mix the chicken noodle soup with chicken fried rice, it's kind of, I think, the flavor that it gives off. It's definitely not bad though. I'm going to have to get a couple more of these and then end up uh, getting something, some jet boil or something like that, so that way I can get that done a lot faster. They are slightly expensive, you're talking like 11 or 12 bucks a piece, so, but it definitely, there's a, a big convenience factor with it. Thank you for watching.